Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. We're going to talk about the Baby Hawk again today. It won the top five competition just recently uploaded to my channel, and that was based on the quads that I've flown and the quads that uh, perform well for me. And the Baby Hawk just overall kind of uh, won the competition out of a lot of them that I've flown for its overall performance and ease of use. Uh, so we're gonna talk about the Baby Hawk again today and we're gonna take it a step further. We're gonna talk about the Baby Hawk XXL and what that is, is that is a new Baby Hawk that I've built on a carbon frame with some new ESCs that Emacs released, 12 amp D-Shot ESCs and their new RS 1106 motors that I have sitting over here to the side. I'm going to show you those uh, in comparison really quickly. I also upgraded the camera on this aircraft to a Runcam Micro with a little tiny Esheen 200 milliwatt transmitter so I can get way out there and get a much better signal. Um, but you can also do 200 on this one, so not a big deal. Now, also uh, check out the motor size difference here from the 1104 to the 1106. Now, the ESCs do sit out on the arms on this aircraft, as you can see here. And I have that Emax Femto F3 up inside here, and it's just hard mounted to the frame with a piece of VHB to sort of dampen it from the motor vibrations. Now, uh, these motors will take some PID tuning inside Betaflight, and it's going to be a challenge for me to get it PID tuned correctly uh, and perfectly done. It's going to take a few hours to do that out at the field. Um, not a big deal. I've done it on other quads. So uh, when I do get a, a nice tune going on this, I'll share those PIDs with you. Um, but I'm also going to show you guys some video of how much punch out this one has. Now, 12 amp will allow you to do easily do 3S to 4S. Um, pretty nice. Also, I don't have to worry about running um, too much voltage to this camera and frying this setup, uh, mainly because this camera can handle uh, up to and upwards of uh, 20 volts, I believe, in the specs. So it will go well over 15 volts, no problem there with a 4S battery. Now on the original Baby Hawk, uh, we're running 2S and it's a lot of fun on 2S. But, you know, I'm the kind of person who's always wanting to upgrade something or see what else I can do to something, take it apart and add something better on it, uh, whether that's a better camera, better motors, whatever. Now, you're probably asking, why didn't you put those 1106s on this frame? Well, you can do that, um, but I'm not sure these 6 amp ESCs will handle it. If they will, you can probably do that and get a little more power out of this, but you might be stressing the system. So in order to run these correctly, you really need to put these 12 amps on there. And the, the, the deal about that is the fact that these ESCs won't fit inside this frame. So there's no way I can mod this or change it, and I can't in any way, shape, or form be able to add these ESCs on this frame unless I somehow put them underneath, had them riding underneath. Uh, they just won't fit. So I use this little carbon frame and this is uh, from our friends at Flex RC. That's the Pico X frame I had an extra of and I used his little tower here for my setup with the Runcam Micro. So try to put those links down below if you guys want to build your own Baby Hawk XXL, you can do that uh, from some of the links that I put down here. This is quite a lot of fun to build and uh, it's going to have way more power. And once I get it PID tuned correctly and all the wobble out of it, it's going to be an amazing aircraft. Uh, very flying very, very much like a five inch is going to fly. So, uh, and it's even kind of a lower profile, a little bit shorter stack than what I have going on over here with this camera tower. So a little less sticking up and I'll probably put some type of roll bar over top of it, whether it be a zip tie roll bar or something else. So I got one of these RS 1106s out of the bag for you so you can see it up close and personal. It's got that kind of classic trademarked uh, red bottom on here that you know it's Emacs and it is also 6000 kV. It says race spec on this side and over here you get the Emacs logo on there and that's that's pretty cool this is a nice upgrade from what we were running 1104s have been my favorite for for quite some time but uh, 1105s and 1106 motors are starting to creep onto micros a lot of guys are using 1105 now so natural progression of things are that things just keep getting more powerful in a 
a, a micro package. So this is pretty cool, the direction that we're headed. Now, the nice thing about this motor also is you notice that I do have the original Baby Hawk props on my Baby Hawk XXL. Well, you can also put regular props on here as well because check out the top of this motor. They have mounts on the inside. The smaller mounts are for traditional micro props and then the wider holes out here on the outside of the motor, those are for the proprietary Emacs props. So Emacs is listening to you guys and they're making a different size prop mount for each different prop on this individual motor, which is pretty cool. So um, just wanted to show you guys this up close, pretty standard mounting plate on the bottom and uh, traditional three wires coming off. They also give you in that package, they also give you a variety of different screw sizes and the same style Baby Hawk prop nuts, uh, prop bolts here. But it's nice that they give you different size screws for the mounting the motors because you need those for different various thickness uh, on different frames. So that's also pretty sweet. And it has this kind of old um, sort of printout on here that says Dubai. FPB Racing Champion motor. That's so that's an old print. Don't don't uh, put that in any uh, context with this motor because that's uh, an old print. But this is what the ESC package looks like, and that's the Bullet Series multi-shot and D-shot support, uh, one shot and active braking. Now uh, with these motors, you might have to revert back to one shot 125 um, to get them to work correctly if you do get them to work with d shot let me know if you uh if you do that but uh, again these escs were a little too large to fit inside the baby hawk frame so i'm hoping that um, as technology progresses that they'll come out with a, a smaller version of this one maybe a 15 to 18 amp who knows uh, but these are a great step forward for sure so i'm stoked to uh to have a set of these to play around with for you guys and and show those off on the channel. And uh, also, before I let you go, let's go ahead and pull down the scale over here. The scale sitting up here, and I'll go ahead and plug that in. And let's do a way off of this custom XXL frame here. I'm just gonna bring the camera up and move it down so you can see. I'll turn it on and put it on grams. Let's do a way off here. Okay, so we're in grams. I set the original baby hawk on there. And we get 65 grams without the battery. Depending on what battery you put on here, it's going to be heavier or lighter, of course. So let's put this custom build with those new motors on there. That's 73 grams right there. So about eight more grams heavier than uh, the original baby hawk, but that's not bad considering the power upgrade that we have. Uh, going on here. Just to double check that, I'll go ahead and put that back on. 65 grams and 73 grams. So right on the money, guys. About 8 grams more. Not bad for uh, such a massive upgrade. So let's go outside. Let's do a little bit of flying with this. I'll show this one to you. Um, you're going to have to deal with some of my, my jitter because it's not totally tuned yet, but uh, I can show you what this, is, this power system is like on 3S, and it's, um, it's actually pretty crazy. It's super, super lit up. So enjoy the flight. I'll see you on the next one.